Well, 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 wouldn't you know it? Lunchtime rally. Hmm. I got to say, there's New York Stock Exchange lunch spots. I'm still looking for the best one. When I was in New York, I was like, come on, guys. You guys got to tell me the good stuff. I asked them on the floor. They wouldn't give it to me. Looks like we got another rally going into it. Started pretty much 11.30, 11 a.m., we're up there towards 404. We're right back to the highs on the intraday. Spy 40407. Can we get through there? It looks like the Bulls, they're in full control, right? Let's go ahead. Let's ask Joel Conan what he thinks and what he saw in the market. Let's take a look. What did you see today? Yeah, that was good. Uh, good afternoon, Mitch. Uh, not like not not so easy on the rally as you uh, you explained. Uh, we did. I don't know what the catalyst. Well, I don't know. Maybe some fed head opened up their mouth or whatever. Uh, <laughs> no, they they're not allowed to speak yeah. this week. They're on oh, the quiet right. week. Yep. Uh, the only thing I can give you was on uh, that pre market low, which I had jotted down at twenty eight and a quarter. <laughs> Went one point below that and turned it around. You can see here the old uh, pre-lunch trick. Take it down to low. Actually down five handles on the session. Steady grind higher, folks. We are poised to make a new, well, we already made a new high for the move. And we're going to make a new closing high. At this point, it's going to be close to 30 handles. And you know what that means? That means more of the same tomorrow, unless we get tripped up on earnings. Uh, the dollar quiet up 20 cents at 101.62. Bonds slipping a little bit, They're down almost uh, a little less than a half a point here, 134.14. Uh, crude inching its way back into that 82 handle, failed once again, but too early to call the quad top up 107 at 81.22. Uh, gold, that makes a new high for the move, but reverses and ends in the red by. 1260 at 1930, or it's trading in the red here at uh, um, in the after hours and silver hmm, going the opposite way for some reason. That's up about nine cents, 2403. Bitcoin back in that 23,000 handle, up $250 at 23,335. All right, let's go to, of course, uh, let's start with some of our leaders. Let's do like Tesla and Microsoft. Definitely been on our eyes lately, mm -hmm. right? Let's take a look. Tesla looks like it's having at least a nice close, right? Stuck around. I think that a lot of bulls at the open were trying to see it keep ripping. It hung around. That's actually a good thing, I feel. As long as it didn't just break down, get back to 50% retracement. It didn't even get close to that. I no. was looking at it to look to see if we could get that, but... No, oh, it's it's hanging in there, team. Yes, and uh, what do you remember? What I gave you this morning for a target? Mm, uh, was it? Um, was Didn't it, it get in the one ninety? What we got? One sixty one. One. Yeah. What you got? Yeah. Remember we those highs? About, yeah. The, yeah. The one sixty one, one sixty ninety nine in that area. It's right there. Right there, bala boom, bala bing. That's exactly where you went to this morning. I mean, oh, who? I mean. It's just a short-term target here. Who knows exactly. where uh, where it's going to go beyond that? But when something uh, it had like a really bad day back here in December, and then it's just like, can I get? Can I hold one sixty? No, that was uh, three highs before you had your leg down to almost double digits. So, just the first time up, no big deal. May take a couple attempts to get through there. Uh, but current high one sixty one forty two. Uh, the highest of those highs was 161.62. Uh, buy down a pullback, man, you have to drill down on your short-term charts and throw a stab out there at 155 and change. It'd be tough to pick support, but uh, uh, we have it. We have uh, the resistance, and uh, who knows, might get some upgrades tomorrow or something, but uh, good day, good catalyst, what the market needed. Christopher For the Marin, autos? I'm sorry? No, for the autos, I just wanted to kind of mention yeah, there. It was a little confusing auto. because it didn't affect all the stocks. I thought it would give, like, let's say Ford and some of these other players a, a lift. And it looks like Ford and GM didn't do too bad, right? I mean, they're still up overall. They're down from the open. But look at Rivian. Did you see what happened there? Let's see what happened. <gasps> oh, no. What happened? Not a good, not a good turnaround, right? I think... It was a little bit of a weird day for me. Some of these growth stocks went down today. 
And wow, that was right? confusing oh. a little bit to me. So, oh. I, I mean, I don't know what to say there, but I mean, like Lucid went down also. It could just be pullbacks, right? Just washing some players out. But not all these just went up today. Oh, Triple D, I know he was hanging out for that 20 target. I don't know if he got too choosy on it. 1988 was the high. Uh, but, hey, is this just a pullback here? 18, mm -hmm. man, I don't know because uh, the, the previous day's low, yesterday's low, 17-12, uh, four-day winning streak uh, comes to an end. Uh, just got a little overdone and uh, – not a good day at all. We'll also have to hear it to a triple D. I don't, he probably didn't sneak out of this one, but uh, down but out, Rivian, you said lucid. What about uh, something like Neo? How'd that do today? Neo had a decent day off this. Um, I'm holding on for dear life. And my, ooh, LTHM, that had caught a little reversal in the lithium battery. I know you like to follow PLL. Ooh, boy. That's been straight up, but that has a reversal today. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're right. It's uh, it's not a pure. Mm -hmm. What about Kathy? How'd Kathy do today? A uh, mixed bag, I think. Uh, you know, Tesla holding it up. That's for sure, right? I mean, mm -hmm. that's what that's one of the major leaders there. Um, but you do have some red in the tape here, and a lot of what I see red in the tape is what I see a lot of her kind of. Uh, her therapeutic stocks and biotechs, they're not doing well right now. Um, Beam, CRISPR, those holding it down for sure. Um, that's not looking good there on those types of plays, right? Those are starting to come down. The biotechs overall have been kind of just, I think they're just not in the limelight right now, right? That's not the stock that's being focused right now. And I think that we need to watch to see if this rotation could come back. But definitely dragging a little bit of the ARKK. Yeah, Christopher Marin mentioned that CVX and uh uh boy oh boy it, it I gave you that that one level just because it was the old time closing high. Uh but if you were quick and uh you made a move uh on the Exxon mm -hmm. Mobile, you were handsomely rewarded. I mean that thing gapped up what was the open 14 52 70. week high. You we know, got it. Old time high. Even better. <laughs> but I want to ask you a question, Mitch. Why, yeah. with earnings out tomorrow, would they give that news today? Do you think they're? Uh, I us, mean, uh... let's just be honest. They know their earnings, right? They know their earnings, right? Let's just try to keep it simple. If I was the PR person, right, and if I'm the PR person, and I know that I have good earnings coming up, right? I already know this. I'm not going to let anybody know about that, of course, but. I know this, right? And so with this being mentioned, I also see that we're going to be putting out this news, right? Well, if I put it in two folds, does it give me that much more of a lift? That's the only question that I would give. Because in my eyes, I mean, it would. Because you get your lift today from the dividend, and you could get your lift tomorrow on Chevron because of the earnings. Something to keep in mind, right? Or how about maybe they got some bad news? Coming or maybe tomorrow. it's bad earnings tomorrow. Yeah. And yeah. they wanted to kind of give it a, they wanted, they didn't want to put the, the good news with the bad news, right? All yep. things to always keep in mind, right? We need to be thinking about that. But I, I, that Exxon Mobil, I think that was the opportunity today to catch because it's been hanging out here. And Chevron just gave it the nice little leap. Yeah, through. again, maybe people are anticipating uh, Exxon Mobil doing the same thing uh, with mm -hmm. theirs. What, what about, what about, a, what about uh, Oxy? How did Oxy do? Did Oxy get a boost? Like Oxy got a, yep, nice boost at uh, Oxy, trailing a little bit. Boy, uh, Uncle Warren's been quiet lately. Um, and XLE, uh, Triple D was uh, going after that after the um, uh, and when the Chevron news came back. And yeah. what else? What else? Are I was able to make my money back today from Valero because I oh, got stopped man. out in PayPal. I was long on Valero, fully out now. Um, but I played it from the uh, entry was 143.68, was risking off that 143 on the chart, looking for the move to 147, took it all out there at the 147. Yeah, and bursting. We have to discount that uh, two-day candle because of the exchange, right? So, mm -hmm. um, so in my opinion, this is a new all-time high, new all-time closing high for 
uh, Valero. So we'll see what, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll be curious to see what, um, how CVX handles this situation tomorrow, but uh, big volume, new all time high, new all time closing high. Um, with the crude not doing much. So uh, good day in the oil patch. All right. Now, um, the one that kept going that was making everybody scratch their head was that now, that service now, it was just ripping up right towards the open. <laughs> Those are the charts that make you scratch your head a little bit because we know that in the after hours, it took the hit, the beating, and then it took the rip at the open. It kept going at the open. Oh, <laughs> That's a crazy chart right there, right, Joel? <laughs> yeah, let's well, let's make it. I mean, that's just uh, that's just a regular session. Uh, why don't we? Uh, did that get? No, that's not even with the pre market. Let's make it just a little crazier here. Um, do you see there's? I think is there either their CEO or some analyst comes on, and man, he is uh, he's a a uh, an interesting kind of looking kind of guy there with the shades and everything, but. I don't know what to tell you about this one. I probably would have been holding out for this high at uh, 480 and uh, 482.69. You didn't get there. Let's just see what the mark is in this one today. This is, uh, oh, but it did come in. Look at this. It did. The only thing I can see significantly here is that, well, you came in within yesterday's range, but you came within five bucks of that. So, I don't know. I don't, my my technical uh, skills are diminished when a stock loses this high price of a stock and moves like it did. Yeah, it's a little confusing one. We'll see what happens there. Uh, definitely had a great day now, right? Let's keep going. Let's look, take a look at some other stocks that have been making moves. Uh, Beamer didn't really do much, and it looks You're like okay, uh, value Beamer. Trade. We, I mean, we get some right. We get we gave some wrong, and. Mm -hmm. uh, this one we said I it far exceeded my down. We were covering this when it was around 137 and change, and uh, both triple D. We're looking at it and say, where do you step in here? You know, last yeah. year's winner, uh, this year's loser, uh, well, but you know, got below the 50 percent. Too bad it didn't get back up to that 140 area, that early morning pop. But uh, yeah, IBM going back to being IBM. So, uh, boy, long, I still, uh, the jury's out. If you're looking to buy the dip on this one, steel, 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 one of our favorites, steel dynamics, taking a nice little leap forward. Look at that daily chart. Bam. This is the steel company you want to have. Forget X. You know what? Steel I dynamics. Do, I do have this one. Mm. I do have this one in one of the long-term portfolios and, I don't think it was my call, and I don't think it was Lisa's call. I think it was my buddy uh, that I uh, consult with, Gary. And he liked this one, blasting off the new all-time high, good Very earnings. Nice uh, Nucor did the same thing and came in. So I'm not selling it, but uh, – <laughs> You still there, Mitch? Yeah, I'm still here. It looks like you're getting a little little internet lag there. The internet the lag. Charts. It just it just died. <laughs> it just died. Yeah. Yeah, my <laughs> trade station just died on me. No worries. I've anything I get to put up my All charts right. in a second. You put so. up your charts and I'm just gonna be f flying in the wind here. <laughs> trade station. I'm gonna like, try to get it running back up. But new court is new high on that one too, right? I mean I, I, don't ask me. <laughs> it's up there towards uh got up to 170.56 right now at 169.47 and and just got a nice little pop there too. Not looking too bad on these steel plays. And I think this is something to keep in mind. We'll see what happens with these steel plays. Can X start coming back, right? A couple of highs yeah. right yep. above I'm it. I'm back. I'm back. That was just all right. Little, You're back. A little, a little glitch, glitch in the matrix. I don't know what happened there. Oh, man. I can't go through that again. Can't really scream and yell at Comcast because I was waiting for the uh, – for the. it was just – that was just a little uh, little trade station stamp. We got him on there. speed dial. Don't don't, don't tell the truth. We got him on speed dial. We know him. Yeah. <laughs> the Comcast Actually, I guy. got a special number of a guy that I can call next time I have a problem. But you know what? These guys, you know, they're upper level management. I, I think they give me like the wrong number. 
you know, like, yeah, if you got any more problems, give me a call. But then now, um, X marks the spot, clears 29. You had all those highs, so you cleared out that 29 seller. Uh, got up 29.35. Mm, boy, oh boy, next monthly high comes in from sometime last year above 30 at 30.99. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to be able to establish a, a bid and, and a base above these quad of highs. I mean, it's still a good day. It's still, you know, busted out, made a new high for the move. Uh, but you got to be able to, uh, you know, make, you know, build support up at a higher level in order to push through and make a definite run for 30 here. Uh, S and P's got up to 69 50, just kind of moseying around here. Uh, just a few handles off the high. That was just just off our morning high of 68 and a quarter. So a little resistance uh, here heading into the final 14 minutes of the session. Hit the like, like always, team. And this is one that I'm just going to keep an eye on now. I've talked about it now. I think the second day that we wanted to take a look at, I'm wondering if lumber is just starting to really rise because WFG, West Fraser Timber, just going to keep calling that out. There's certain times where I like to call out relative strength. That is pushing lumber wood production. Why? I don't I don't have the answer yet, but I think we'll find out sure enough. Sure enough. WFG. Yeah, wow. West Fraser Timber Company. Ah, uh, boy. Just uh, now this one was beat up in uh beat up last year, but man, this thing didn't bottom until Four or five days ago, straight up. Mm. Can't give you much resistance in here. Uh, give you one daily high if you need another target, 86, uh, 91. Uh, and then you open up until 88, 42. Let's look at the wood ETF. Uh, boom, boom. Wood. That's having a good day. That's trying to break out. Uh, maybe got some 95 to 65, 30 point move. Maybe this goes back to the 78, 80 dollar level. But uh, you know, me, I don't know. These these housing stocks, lumber, yeah. yeah, lumber. Look at that, D H Horton, itching its way up towards triple digits. If Dennis was still building the house, I'd tell him to go hedge it right now. <laughs> But yeah, we got to take a look. We'll see what happens there. Let's keep moving. Let's take a look at some different stocks. Um, how did Comcast do today? That's one that we didn't take a look at. Um, how, how does this trade? I haven't seen Comcast in a while. CM, CSA, we don't have a crazy print, but you do. You did have a trio of highs at 40.40. Push through there, getting to 40.74. Uh, looks like you're going to close above those highs. So if we can uh, find some support here at the 4020, 4030 area tomorrow, why not push up and see if uh, you know test the next major level at 40 at uh, um, at 41, just because it's a whole number thick stock. Uh, 4063, that's your bogey, folks. That was your August high. You got the 4074. So maybe just a little pause at the August high here before you. Uh, you make a move. This had a two for one stock split uh, starting in late in 2021. Let's just call it 60 to 30. Halfway back, 45. Why the heck not? Two uh, monthly highs right on the kisser at 44.56. But with the way this thing moves, could take a while. Really strong stock. Also, Salesforce, CRM. Um, take a look at that. I do think it's important to catch when we're getting these kind of companies and make a move and you can see it on the daily chart. This one's definitely having the January effect and climbing the wall almost past those levels to the left. Yeah. And if you start holding up here, it doesn't look bad at all. Yep. Resistance, resistance still is taken out. It's called 165, 166, uh, 65, 66 here. 66 even here, just under 66 here. Watch your bogey. Got through it today, not by much. No, you only got uh, 164.97 here. So you didn't want to ride it out for the next buck here. That's what I see monthly, or not only daily, monthly reads. Oh, look at this. This is like a bunch of monthly highs here. Moment of truth coming up for CRM mm -hmm. uh, 166. s and is just making another push here, uh, going to the uh, to the uh, new highs of the session. Ah, new high, new high, 69.50. Come on, get me a three-quarters print. Nope. 
struggling here. I don't know. Maybe a seller at 40, 69, 50, 70. Yeah, and with that one being said, I'm going to look to see that Adobe finally fills the gap. Adobe. Uh, Adobe, I've been looking at this one. It's just been working its way, filling in the mm-hmm. gap. A lot of these charts working their way back. 369, starting to get in reach. I see the low there, 365, 61. Yes, oh, sir. We just hit it. We did. The gap fill. Um, you know, it's just a pause, maybe a pause in the action. Uh, the, the close on that day was 371.52, and the high was way up there at 374.24. So that's what you're looking at. Uh, looks like it's trying to break out here, fill the gap. Has another gap above it, above 380. Uh, so uh, nice move. I just... Mm. Can't tell you really where to buy this one on a pullback. Uh, you did you, you didn't even get a look at yesterday's close. Yesterday's close was 58.72, 60.72 low. Uh, but no, on the comeback trail for Adobe. So a lot of these software names that I'm starting to catch that are really catching that January effect. So keep your eyes on names like that. Um, we'll look to see if it keeps going. Like I know uh, Jason Raznick favorite HubSpot, that's holding in there. That's really reversing. Um, so see software names, interesting names to keep in mind, especially if they're not going to break down, right? If they're just going to keep going, well, we got to catch these before they're too far gone. Yeah, it looks like uh, Elliot is uh, getting its way over there at uh, Salesforce. He uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> he provided a, uh, a catalyst in the stock and uh, – I believe that was the day that it gapped up. <laughs> Look at that, but it gapped up and it came back down and gave you an opportunity to buy at yeah. the top of that range. Uh, I had stuck that high over 150. And then uh, yesterday, when it looked like the world was coming to an end, uh, 149.82 was your low. Uh, the high on this day was uh, a little bit above that, 151.53. But uh, nice gap fill there for CRM. And, you know, folks, I'm looking at the monthlies on these things. And, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's really hard. With the, you know, the way that they came down, it's really hard to predict where they're going to be, you know, where and if they're going to stop. Um, well, old-time highs are certainly out of the question here, or not out of the question, but it's going to take a long time, but uh, go back to that Netflix chart. I mean, look how far it's distanced itself uh, um, from that uh, sub-200 low yeah. for Netflix. Taking a look around, I wanted to see uh, like what else could kind of take a look at that looks interesting. I mean, there's just so much going on. Remember Burlington when it started doing its move? This thing still hasn't <laughs> turned around, Joel. <laughs> I don't know anybody that shops at Burlington for it to be up 92% in three months since October, pretty much. Look at this one, man. Uh, <laughs> 220, 220, 220. I mean, that is your level. Uh, look at this. I got the last six lows, five of the last six lows, like 220, 221. So if you want something to lean on for a swing trade, um, boom, 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 man. That, uh, that's a good level. It looks like, that's uh, crazy. and you got a good level on the upside too. It looks like, uh, <laughs> you got a seller at the 226 area. So trade the range.com for the last five sessions. Not liking to turn around in coal today. Just to put that out there. You guys know, I usually talk about coal. I haven't talked about it lately because it hasn't been doing anything, but started to let go a little bit. We'll see what happens on coal. Um, I, I just want to mention, um, is Easy Mike here in the chat? Because he easy, talked to, Easy's always here. Easy, Easy Mike, because uh, he talked about putting on a short in ARCH. And, uh, oh. and uh, boy, oh, boy, I don't know if it was kind of a short-term trade in it, but boom, that took out the pair of lows, flushed to 145. Unfortunately, I don't have, wouldn't have been buying it at 145. I had no level, uh, but caught a nice rebound here. How is that? I got a new name for this. Instead of natural gas, let's call it nasty gas because this is a <laughs> nasty looking chart, man. Look at this thing. Holy Toledo. Another low of the move. Uh, did it ever get green on the session? No, folks. I looked at it again. I said, man, if you're trying to buy this 
just have a day where at least goes green. Volume's still pretty good. Spoos are now in the 4070 handle. Haven't seen that since December 13th, I think, or December 14th. So uh, they're jamming into the close. Uh, uh, Tesla leading a charge back here. back Not back up at its high of the day, 6142. Uh, probably got, feels like we got a round of buyers, maybe some buying balances here uh, going into the close. We'll see what happens on that natty gas. Uh, that one's not one I'm stepping in front. Mitch I'll talk to was you guys. bullish here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. I actually, I actually, I was able to make some money on UNG when it was going up to thirty. But let's just say on the twenty-five to fifteen, somewhere in between there, there was two losses. You swing trades. sure too, Mitch. I mean, <laughs> come on, I, uh, you know that's one thing. You know, you just go at least things. oil stayed strong for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least Everyone, XOM never went away. What's going on with this IGV? It's, oh, wow, IGV. this is uh, software. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah. got one. We could start saying goodbye to right Bed Bath and Beyond. Right, goodbye. Bye bye. They say they don't have enough cash anymore. That's a bad thing. That's they don't have thing. enough cash <laughs> to meet their credit facilities to sell their uh, nine ninety nine uh, tumblers, huh? Holy yeah, the God, discount bro. coupons are gonna get real soon. How's our <laughs> get how's ready, our, guys? This is actually good for the market when these stocks go down. I don't want to say that we don't hear from the apes anymore. Well, it's been things nah, have been pretty man. quiet. Um, but, uh, boy, they're going to have to, run. let's see if they reload for another run. But, uh, you know, with stocks like that, man, you got to sell them and, uh, sell them on the way up because when it turns, it turns fast. Uh, I no, did I buy, uh, buy some cowboy boots? No, I did not buy some <laughs> cowboy boots. I have a pair of cowboy boots from who knows when, but, uh, nice move in that today. Boot barn holdings blasting off here the only thing i do is i'll alert our traders and investors uh, that you are um in the area of a monthly high and that monthly high came in at 88 45 87 36 is your current high so there there's um there's your next target on the upside for boot barn don't have any of those around here so even if i wanted to buy the, some cowboy boots couldn't the do bulls it are getting to me guys the bulls are getting to me can you believe it can you believe it look at Marriott. This doesn't tell me recessions coming anywhere near. Look at that. Holy mac. That is a move, right, Joel? Like, holy moly. Beat up like, oh, I'm gonna sell it in December. Turned around. Wow, Marriott. I got nothing for you until your Almost next 20 month. 20% for the year. 17924. What about uh Hilton? I'm a Hilton. Yeah, uh, Hilton that, coming back. Yeah. Coming back, travel. Um, interesting day here. Um, in the uh, Ohio, it's at an all time high. Hyatt, holy, it did make a new all mm, made all time high yesterday. Uh, but what's an all time closing high now? 112 11. You got uh, you got Pretty looks like you got close. someone parceling out Ooh. between 112 and 113. <laughs> Uh, interesting day for um, American Airlines. Did you see the flush off the open? Uh, yeah. Got above that resistance, tested both ends of the trading range, and uh, now back up. So interesting day for um, uh, um, interesting American. day for American Airlines. Uh, Jay says, "Get outside air." I, I know the airport. I've been going to the airport. People are eating. I mean, I don't know who is Kramer been saying that people aren't traveling or whatever. I mean. That, that's not what I'm seeing. Okay, Mitch, we're in the final minute here. Buyers just cannot restrain themselves as we took out that late day high. Uh, moving up 4077, wait for that last print. I'm going to call it 4075. That's a new closing high for the week, for the month, for the year by over 40 handles, folks. So uh, over 400. Hmm. Bulls got right. control, team. Earnings call tonight, Intel Visa. Don't miss it. We'll have Intel for you. See you bright and early, pre-market prep. And also, have a good one, Joel. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Cow guy, cow guy tomorrow. Cow Move. guy tomorrow. Move yeah. on over. You guys know how it goes. But definitely, um, also, just wanted to give you guys the outlook. If you guys want to check out the edited version of the book club, I'm going to be putting that out at 6 p.m. 
So you guys can get a little bit of access into trading in the zone. That's going to be tonight, 6 p.m. You guys can check it out. The stream will be right here on Benzinga. So if you guys want to check out how the book club is or what it actually involves, well, check out that video later today, 6 p.m. And like always, team, we're going to keep going for you. Up next, you guys got Cannabis Insiders, 5 p.m. Don't miss the Intel earnings call. That'll be right here on Benzinga. And then after that, 6 p.m. Eastern, while you're hanging out, check out what it is for the book club. And like always, you guys can join up up, join up the book club if you haven't done so already to get access to the full videos and the behind the scenes. Today, just to give you guys the insight, did send out that email so you guys can RSVP to be in the background and be part of the show. And I think that that's the best part, right? You guys get to behind the scenes, actually get to be part of the Benzinga shows. Hit that form up. I'll see you guys on Sunday, 9 a.m. Eastern for you guys that are part of the book club. But tonight, you guys can catch the edited version coming out at 6 p.m. See you guys a little bit later. Smash the like and keep going with Cannabis Insider up next. Bye.